Good morning students. Today we are going to start with the chapter interrogative sentences. So open your book New Grammar Magic at page 100. Observe the following sentences. What is your name? My name is Savita. Students, do you find any difference between these two sentences? Yes. In the first sentence, one person is asking question to other person, what is her name? And in second sentence, the other person is answering to the question that her name is Savita. So it is an assertive sentence. But do you know what do we call two sentences that ask a question? A sentence that asks a question is called an interrogative sentence. So here comes our definition. What is an interrogative sentence? A sentence that asks a question is called an interrogative sentence. Now students, there are two types of interrogative sentences. Let us discuss them. Types of interrogative sentences. The first type of interrogative sentences that begin with question words like what, who, whose, for example, what is your name, where are you going, how are you going to your office. Now these sentences are beginning with question words that are what and where in second sentence and how in third sentence. So these are the interrogative sentences that are beginning with question words. Let us study the second type. The other type of interrogative sentences are that begin with helping verbs like is, am, are, was, were, will, shall and others. For example, Are you ready to go to cinema? Was he ill yesterday? Has she done her work? Now, in these sentences, all of them are beginning with helping verbs like are in first sentence, was in second sentence, has in third sentence. So these are the type of interrogative sentences that are beginning with helping verbs. But students, how will you recognize that a sentence is an interrogative sentence? An interrogative sentence should ask a question. It should begin with question words like what, who, whose, how or helping verbs like is, am, are, can, could, may, might and others. And it should always end with question mark. Let us understand with help of some examples. What are you going to do today? Is he a good boy? Does he respect his parents? Students, in the first sentence, what is the question word? And the sentence is beginning with question word. A question is being asked in this sentence that what he is going to do today and the sentence is ending with question mark. So it is an interrogative sentence. Similarly, the second sentence is beginning with helping verb. That is, is an ending with question mark. A question is being asked in this sentence. So it is an interrogative sentence. The third sentence is beginning with helping verb. That is, does an ending with question mark. A question is being asked in this sentence also. So it is an interrogative sentence. Students, now we will learn that how to change an assertive sentence into an interrogative sentence. Observe the following sentences. It was a great movie. The beauty of Kashmir is beyond description. Rahul and Avinash are going to the market. She can do her work herself. Students, do you find helping verbs in this sentences? Yes, was is the helping verb in first sentence. 
is is the helping verb in second sentence are is the helping verb in third sentence and can is the helping verb in fourth sentence so how we will change these sentences into interrogative sentences we will first place helping verb in the beginning and then insert question mark at the end for changing these assertive sentences into interrogative sentences like it was a great movie now which is the helping verb here was is the helping verb in this sentence so how we will convert this sentence into interrogative we will place was at the beginning and insert question mark at the end rest of the sentence will remain same for changing this sentence into interrogative like was it a great movie question mark look at the second example also the beauty of kashmir is beyond description now is is the helping verb in this sentence so we will place is at the beginning and insert question mark at the end for changing this sentence into interrogative like is the beauty of kashmir beyond description question mark see the third example rahul and avinash are going to the market now we will place are at the beginning and insert question mark at the end rest of the sentence will remain same for changing this sentence into interrogative and the answer will be are rahul and avinash going to the market question mark look at one more example for better understanding she can do her work herself now can is the helping verb in this sentence so we will place can at the beginning and insert question mark at the end for changing this sentence into interrogative and the answer will be can she do her work herself question mark now students we will learn that how to change an assertive sentence into an interrogative sentence when there are no helping verbs present observe the following sentences the sun rises in the east they went to the park yesterday we go to the gym every day lakesh lives with his aunt now students do you find something missing in these sentences yes the helping verb is missing in these sentences so how we will change these sentences into interrogative we will first add helping verb in these sentences then place the helping verb in the beginning and finally add question mark at the end for changing these sentences into interrogative like the sun rises in the east now which is the main verb here rises is the main verb, verb here students we will use the same rule here as we have used in the negative sentence that is whenever the present form of verb is present we always use do or does as helping verbs whenever the singular subject is present we use does as helping verb whenever the plural subject is present we use do as helping verb in this sentence rises is the present form of verb and the sun is singular subject so we will use does as the helping verb in this sentence and the sentence will be the sun does rise in the east now we will place does at the beginning and insert question mark at the end for changing this sentence into interrogative and the sentence will be does the sun rise in the east question mark see the second example they went to the park yesterday now which form of verb is went went is the past form of verb students always remember whenever the past form of verb is present we always use did as the helping verb and after adding did the sentence will become they did go to the park yesterday went has been changed to did go that is did plus present form of verb 
now we have to place did at the beginning and insert question mark at the end for changing this sentence into interrogative and the sentence will be did they go to the park yesterday question mark see the third example also we go to the gym every day now which form of verb is go go is the present form of verb but which subject is we we is the plural subject so we use do as a helping verb in this sentence and the sentence will be we do go to the gym every day now we have to place do at the beginning and insert question mark at the end for changing this sentence into interrogative and the sentence will be do we go to the gym every day question mark see the fourth example also rakesh lives with his aunt now which form of verb is lives lives is the present form of verb so which helping verb we will add in this sentence we will add does as the helping verb in this sentence and the sentence will be rakesh does live with his aunt now we have to change this sentence into interrogative so we will place does in the beginning and insert question mark at the end and the sentence will be does rakesh live with his aunt question mark we will understand with the help of one more example the doctor told us to eat apple every day now which form of verb is told told is the past form of verb so which helping verb we will add in this sentence we will add did as the helping verb in this sentence and the sentence will be doctor doctor did tell us to eat apple every day told has been changed to did tell that is did plus present form of verb now we have to change this sentence into interrogative and the sentence will be did the doctor tell us to eat apple every day did has been placed in the beginning and question mark has been inserted in the end so children today we have learned what is an interrogative sentence transformation of assertive sentence into an interrogative sentence when the present form of verb is given we add do or does as helping verb in the sentence whenever the plural subject is given we add do as helping verb but whenever the singular subject is given we always add does as helping verb in the sentence whenever the past form of verb is given we add did as helping verb in the sentence i hope you all are cleared with the chapter now follow the schedule in the snack homework and solve the exercises thank you